What up YouTube, Ramham here. We're at an undisclosed bee farm in Umatilla, Florida. And uh, Umatilla, what is it? It's Umatilla. Umatilla, Umatilla, Florida. And we're gonna do a little experiment. I haven't gotten stung by a bee ever. I've been stung by wasps before, not a bee. So I'm gonna get stung by a bee and then we're gonna shock the part where I got stung to see if shocking a bee sting will help dissipate it. Supposedly when you shock it, it helps like align the proteins or some scientific thing that allows your body to absorb it better compared to if you don't shock it at all. So this will be interesting. So here we go. We got, do we got a V? Yep. Uh, we got a V. <laughs> okay, make sure you get it getting stung. All right, right here. Where everything's better. Right there. Whoa. It's out of focus, hold on. Tell the bee not sting yet. I saw her stinger come out. Ready? Yep. Okay, it's in. Ooh. It's pumping. I can see it pumping. Now what's the proper way to extract it? Yeah, so teach us the proper way to extract it. So we're just going to scrape it in the opposite direction that it went in and pull it out with our fingernail. So just... That's pretty deep in there. <laughs> okay, now it's out. Can it's you describe right what there. you're feeling at this moment? Um, it feels therapeutic, actually. Um, <laughs> My muscles feel a little tense, but just a nice, warm, th therapeutic feeling in my hand. Okay. I'm not really reacting to it too bad, am I? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Is the fence on? No. <laughs> yeah, that would have been a whole other different shock. <laughs> okay, are you ready to... Uh, so, should we let it swell up some? this thing? Yeah, I'm kind of curious to see how your body reacts because if, if he doesn't react to it, then well, we won't I'm really sure know. it hurts. That's supposed to make the pain go away. Yeah, does it hurt? Is there pain? Yeah, there's a little like a stinging feeling. Okay. Okay. You want me to go ahead and deactivate? Do you think it's going to swell up more, guys, before we do that? If you're allergic, but if you're not, not really. Because so usually, if, if I get stung like right on a right on a knuckle, oh, I feel it a little more right now. The venom is starting to to work. Let's let it uh, brew a little bit. Let it marinate. Let it marinate some before we, uh, because I want to see if it swells up and then when you sting it, if it'll dissipate. Yeah, I can start to see the redness developing and I can see it starting to mound up a little in the site. Okay, so we'll give it like five minutes. Okay, I can see, I can see now I'm getting a little hive there. You're in the so light a little bit. Perfect time to do it. Right now? Yep. Okay, so now we're gonna shock it. Go right directly on the sting site. Oh. And then you wanna do it around it. Because <laughs> the venom moves out, radiates through the skin. <laughs> and at this point, it may just be fun for me. <laughs> Let's see. feeling any different actually i don't know if it's psychological but i don't even feel it at all now <laughs> i'll tell you it's instant yeah i don't even feel it at all when now the kids cry you hit it with this and they instantly stop crying my thumb is a little numb yeah you may lose appendage <laughs> <laughs> no in all seriousness like before the back of my hand was getting tight remember how i said it and now i don't feel that tightness in the back of my hand Where's, what's this thing look like? It's actually getting lighter, it looks like. 
So there you go. Uh, I think it probably does work. It probably isn't an old wives' tale. <laughs>